hi guys i'm trudy welcome or welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i prepare this peanut porridge keep watching this video so basically guys this video is a how to make peanut porridge so to start off, we're going to combine one and a half cups of oats. So we're going to pour in one and a half cup of oats. And we're going to blend this. So to blend this, guys, I'm going to be using some almond milk to blend the oats together. I'm also going to be adding in some cinnamon powder. And now we're going to blend everything together. Next, we're going to pour one cup of the oat milk inside our pot. And then we're going to add the blended oats inside of the milk. And next, we're just going to be adding in one cup of peanut. This is salted, guys, but you can use unsalted. Whichever peanut you have is okay. So now I'm putting it in the same container. I'm not, I'm not gonna rinse out anything. I'm just gonna have the peanut inside. This is one cup of peanut. Then we're gonna add some more almond milk to blend the peanut together. Next, we're going to just blend the peanut together. And next, we're going to pour in the peanut inside with the oatmeal. So as you can see, guys, this is very thick. So I'm just going to pour in a little bit of the almond milk to loosen up. So just pouring in some almond milk and then you pour it inside your pot. And guys, I haven't turned on the stove as yet. So now we're gonna turn on, so now we're gonna turn on the flame and we're going to stir because this will stick so fast, guys. So we're just gonna stir this until everything is combined because we want it to be an even consistency so this is what we're working with now guys so you have to keep stirring everything together because i don't want it to be lumpy or for it to stick to the pot And this is important guys if you turn the fire on before it might get a little bit lumpy so that's why I waited to pour in everything before I turned the flame on. so as you can see now it's getting to an even consistency and eventually it's gonna start to thicken so you want to keep turning just so it doesn't get lumpy or or that it doesn't stick
as you can see guys it's getting very thick so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be adding in some coconut creamer and guys you can use condensed milk or water you don't have to use this creamer if you don't have it but i'm gonna be adding in this coconut creamer I'm just gonna pour in this coconut creamer to loosen it up a little bit And also guys you want to reduce the flame you don't want it to be too high also I'm gonna be adding in two teaspoon of vanilla extract I'm, I'm also gonna be adding in one teaspoon of almond essence and guys this thing is very strong so do not put more than one teaspoon actually it all depends on how much you're making if you're making more you can put in more but try not to go over one tablespoon because this is very strong so one teaspoon and we're gonna combine everything together I'm also going to be adding some nutmeg and as you know guys I prefer to grate my nutmeg I'm not really a big fan of the ground nutmeg this is what happened guys when you grate the nutmeg So that's one of the con of grating in the nutmeg. It might fall. Well, I should have grated it. Well, I should have grated on like a plate, but that's a part of cooking, guys. Trial and error. Yes, we're gonna stir everything together. And guys, one of the reasons why I like to make my peanut parch thick is because I'm actually prepping for work for the week. So what I do is I'll make like a pot of oatmeal or whatever porridge. Then I'll reheat a portion in the morning. So I don't reheat all of it together. And then when I reheat it, I will add some almond milk to it. So it will get it a little bit thinner. So you don't have to make yours so thick, meaning you could use less. So instead of putting in one and a half cups of oats, you could use one cup. And you could also use half a cup of peanut instead, because as you see, the peanut also makes it very thick. But I'm actually prepping for my breakfast for the week. I know some of you might be cringing when I said for the week, but when you commute as far as I do, you have to prep ahead of time. I'm gonna be adding in a little bit more almond milk just to make it a little thinner. So now we're gonna let this boil. And also guys, to sweeten this, you can use condensed milk, honey, or sugar but I'm not gonna be adding in any sugar to it because I prefer to sweeten it every morning I'll just add a little bit of sugar I don't add all the sugar to this pot but when you're doing it guys you can always add your sugar your condensed milk or your honey but this is just my little technique how I prefer to make my oat peanut porridge So we're going to let this finish cooking for another 10 minutes or so, and then I'll be coming back. This is it, guys. This is our peanut porridge. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you tried this recipe and how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye for now, guys.